Although ovarian cancer is not common in the United States, it ranks among the top causes of cancer death in women. Despite this, there are some patients who are long-term ovarian cancer survivors. We want all survivors, as well as their family and friends, to know that serious research is ongoing to find out what enables some women to survive ovarian cancer long-term. The Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center is leading a consortium of eight scientific institutions and 11 advocate partner organizations in conducting this study. The Ovarian Cancer Consortium for Long-Term Survival has further established worldwide partnerships, which will provide researchers with unprecedented access to a network of genetic, quality of life, and healthcare information about long-term survivors of ovarian cancer. Through the research effort performed by this consortium and its access to the most advanced technologic tools, we can now try to unlock the reasons why some women who face advanced ovarian cancer do much better than others. With the help of long-term ovarian cancer survivors, we want to better define five aspects of this condition. First, the ability of the tumor cells to grow and survive even after surgery. Second, the mechanisms these tumors use to grow their own blood supply channels. Third, how these cancers interact and invade surrounding structures. Fourth, how survivors coped with their cancer in the past and in the present. And five, what their quality of life is like now compared to how it was at different points in their cancer journey. It may be that differences in these five factors have an influence on a woman's ability to survive and thrive after diagnosis. Our hope is to identify the biologic, molecular, and psychosocial patterns that can predict long-term survival, in the hope that these insights will lead to long-term survival for all women affected by this disease. Survivors have requested for such research to be done, and we want to thank the Department of Defense for supporting their request and funding our worldwide multidisciplinary consortium. Thank you.